We got some friends here. OK, welcome back to Bay Sunday. We have uh, been around. Uh, it has been around for 2000 years. Contending villagers would compete in southern China and it predates the Olympiad in Greece, believe it or not. And they're still going strong today. We're talking about dragon boats and racing. The 19th annual Kaiser Permanente San Francisco International Dragon Boat Festival. It's a long name, but it's terrific. Is about to kick off in just two weeks right off Treasure Island. 130 dragon boat teams that adds up to over 3,000 paddlers here in the Bay Area. Here to chat, their race director and a rower himself, Hans Wu. How are you? Hey, Frank, I'm great. Thanks great, for having great me. And you brought your friend here as well. I did. We, we uh, spent a lot of time together. Yes, I guess you do. <laughs> Tell us about the weekend. You guys take over Treasure Island and you've got 3,000 paddlers and 100 plus uh, boats. It's pretty crazy, I bet. Yeah, no, it, it's, uh, you know, we're really uh, excited. This festival has just grown over the years. Uh, as you mentioned, we've had 130 teams uh, coming from all over the U.S. and Canada. In the past, we've had teams that have, uh, you know, come from China, Germany, Philippines. Uh, so we have two days just full of um, uh, action-packed racing, uh, three divisions. You have the really competitive crews, then you have the novice corporate teams, which have some of our sponsors, some of the barriers, best nonprofits, corporate teams, and then we have our high school division. So you got the races, and then you have just an awesome festival, which we can talk about more. Who knew? Well, we've got some pictures, so we'll talk through those. Give us, uh, give us a little history lesson, and also tell us how big are the boats, how many in the boats. That sure. Kind of yeah. So, like the simplest explanation for dragon boating is that it takes place in a dragon boat, which has a, a dragon head, a tail. It's really brightly colored with scales. It's about 45 foot long. Uh, so that's what makes it sort of unique. And the other thing that makes it pretty unique is that um, you can see you have 22 people in the boat. And so in some ways, I think of it as the ultimate team sport because I can't think of too many other activities that involve so many people. You better keep paddling. Uh, you, you better keep paddling. And, and you know, those people, there's a, a drummer in front, there's a steers person in back, 20 paddlers. I think of the steers person sort of like the brains of the boat. He's pointing you where to go and the right. drummer is keeping the cadence so it's sort of like the heartbeat for the boat. How fast do the boats go? Oh geez, so the races are about 500 meters uh -huh. uh, and the good teams do that in a little under two minutes. Oh my gosh, yeah, so you guys so, are cooking out there. Lola. Yeah, it's cooking. It's a lot of action in a short amount of time. Now you had no idea about this, you're up in Canada and got introduced to it, right? Yeah, you know, I, I was working really hard being a real desk jockey and uh, some friends said, hey, you, you got to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, and they said, why don't you try dragon boating? And I, I didn't really know what it was. And they're like, what, are you Chinese or what? I mean, this sport, it came from China. Really? Uh, so I tried it, you know, and up until that point, I'd just done sort of, you know, skiing, motorcycling, sort of solitary sports, mm -hmm. but here, you know, I really got hooked because there's a very strong social component. And, yeah. and like we said, it's like an ultimate team sport. So you guys all stick together. How many in a boat? 22? Yeah. Plus 22 plus the drummer and the... Well, and the so there's 20 paddlers 20 and then paddlers. you got the drummer and the steers person. So, so you yeah, guys, 22. You yeah. You guys become good friends after all this, I would uh, imagine. So you do because you internationally travel to different races and all kinds of stuff. How popular is it? Uh, you know, a lot of people say it's one of the fastest growing sports. You know, the estimates are there's maybe 50 million people worldwide. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're concentrated primarily in, in Asia, but it's quickly growing all over the world in South America, Germany. Uh, oddly, Canada is probably the largest dragon boat community outside of uh, China, which is where I learned it. Uh, and then, you know, we're really trying to grow it here in the Bay Area because we think it really represents a lot of the values of the Bay Area. And the whole festival, not just about the paddling, um, a lot of cultural events, entertainment, yeah. some great food, and the dragon. A absolutely. There's a, a cultural stage with a lot of performances and entertainment. Um, it's, there's a place called Dragonland for the kids where there's a lot of arts and crafts activities. Uh, this year, I think Microsoft is having a special area where uh, they're going to have kind of um, math and science, technology, fun activities um, for the kids. There's rides, there's entertainment, there's good food. Uh, so it's really grown to become a, a destination event for and the Bay I, Area. I would think not just a fun family thing, but a way to introduce the sport to people that might want to take part in years to come, right? Oh, you know, it's, it's a very accessible sport. So even if you've not had an athletic background, uh, you can gain a basic level of proficient, profic proficiency uh, pretty quickly. Um, but if you're a hardcore athlete, you can work on the technique for years. So, um, you know, this is why a lot of the novice and corporate teams, they've really found it to be a great team building event, very inclusive, um, 
very social and active. You have the CDBA, that's the California Dragon Boat Association, and, and it's big in the Bay Area. If, say, one of our viewers wants to uh, find out more, what do they do? Yeah, so if a viewer is interested in the event, um, they can go to sfdragonboat.com, but if they're interested in trying the sport, they can check out the cdba.org. Uh, and basically, you know, we have practice sites all around the Bay Area, uh, and, you know, they can just come on out join a boat, give it a try, and, and have a good time on the water. Is the race director paddling? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not paddling this year, okay. but in the past I, I do. I, I just love it. You're going to be a busy man anyways. All right. Well, Hans, thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks. It's An been a pleasure. Another Cal grad, too. We like that. Yeah, go Bears. Uh, very much so. For more information <laughs> about San Francisco's International Dragon Boat Festival, log on to sfdragonboat.com, sfdragonboat.com. More Bay Sunday right after the break. Stay there.